Hello everyone, I am Gaurav Yadav, the teacher trainer for BenQ India. I am back with the second video in the series of onboarding videos. In this video, I will show you how to use the floating tool. But what is a floating tool? It is a tool that will help you to annotate on the panel anytime and anywhere. It is called so because it is floating in nature and can be moved anywhere on the screen while using it. It is also very simple to use, however, we need to activate it first. The floating tool can be activated by two finger touch, making a victory sign or simple V anywhere on the screen. This is how it gets activated. The other way to activate it is by using the sidebar. A simple touch on the last icon will also activate the floating tool which floats on the screen. To deactivate the tool, just click on the center EZ right icon and the tool will disappear. This is what the floating tool looks like. Basically, two concentric circles. The inner circle has EZ right written on it and the outer circle has six icons. Let's talk about them one by one. Going anti-clockwise, the top is pen icon and above that are color variant options. What this essentially does is that it allows you to choose any one of the four colors available to write. So if you choose blue, it will write with blue. If you to choose red, it will write with red. If you are using a BenQ stylus, this, then you can in fact choose two different colors. One for each side of the stylus. This is called the dual pen function. So if I take blue with this and same stylus I take red. Now this will write as blue and this will write as red. The next icon is for the video recording of the panel. What this means is that if I turn it on, the panel will automatically start recording the activities being done on it. The best usage of this feature is when there is a child who is absent from the class. With this tool, you can record the entire lecture. Let me show this to you with an example. First, let's turn on the recording. So you click and the recording has started. So on the right side, you can see the recording has started. So let's say there is an image. So I'll uh, off the EZ right and open AMS files. Let's say I have an image and now on this I want to annotate. So I just press two fingers and here I can mark. So this complete all the activities along with the annotations are being recorded on the panel. To stop the recording, just press the stop button and the recording is stopped. As soon as you stop the recording, you will get the path where the recording is saved with the current date and time as the file name. So as soon as I click OK, the recording is stopped. I clear the screen and let's go to home screen and see where the recording is saved. So by default, all the recordings are saved in my folder. So as you can see in this my folder, this is our recording which we have saved on this panel. So there are couple of more things which you can do with the file which has been created. So if you press on this, you will get few more icons to delete, move, copy, rename, zip and cancel. So let's say if I want to rename, I can delete the file name and name it as plant cell. So the file name has been changed. In this video recording, if you want to capture your voice, you can connect additional USB based microphone to the panel and your voice will also be captured along with the video. The video will be saved in MP4 format on the panel automatically. Now it is very easy to share it across. A great feature, isn't it? The next icon is the screenshot icon. Being avid mobile phone users, we are all quite aware of this terminology. 
this icon basically helps the users to capture the screen and save it on the system and allows you to share it at the same time let me show how this icon can be used so for an example i open browser and search for human heart now let's say i want this image now if i want to explain something i just pick victory v and then click on screenshot as soon as the screenshot option is clicked there are four icons the cross represents that it will take you back to the floating tool no screenshot if you want to select the specific area you can select it or there is also a third option so you can use your four fingers to select the area so let's say i just make a frame of it and automatically that area has been selected now either i can click on this ez icon and this will crop the screenshot and take it to the writing board software so i click on ez right screenshot is captured and it is on the writing board software where i can select and explain further into details the last option is if i want to save the screenshot let's say i resize it and now i want to save it in the internal memory or if i have connected a usb drive i can also save it on the usb drive let's say i will save it on the internal memory so this screenshot is saved on the internal memory in png format let's move on the next icon on the floating tool this icon will take you to the file manager so if i just click on it let's say remember we have taken a screenshot i select the screenshot and automatically the file is open so from here you can open any file be it a picture pdf ppt or video that is saved on the panel the next icon is the eraser option this option will help you erase all the annotated content on the screen let's see it how it does so let's say i want to mark right at you now if i want to erase just click on the erase icon and clear all the next icon will take you to the ez write writing board software for teaching with all the available tools on the panel we will talk in detail about this software in the next video thank you for watching this onboarding video on floating tool software of benkyo interactive flat panel stay tuned for more such videos see you soon